own brother because he did something for a principle, you will too. Life is bigger than paper with a white man's image on it. Life is bigger than a nice house and a nice car and a lot of bling bling. Life is bigger than an Oscar. Life is bigger than a belt. Life is bigger than something that says, I am the best at what I do. I'm the most valuable player or my team won. But as a people, we are losing. We cannot afford to lose any of you. You are our kith and our kin, our flesh and our blood. And so I wanted to say something to help us to come together rather than break apart. Because it's yay and Kari today. But what they're doing to them is to make you who are in the good graces of them, so you think. You see what we just did? Ye lost $2 billion in a few days. You might wonder, did he really have it? He lost that much that soon? You know when you signed a contract with him. I don't know what's in the contract, but you do. So evidently, Adidas and all the companies that Brother Kanye is signed to or was signed to until Mr. Ari Emanuel told everybody, just drop him. Beloved uh, brothers and sisters, look. Your day is soon coming. I'm asking you stop beating each other up in the public. Stop doing that. But of course, that's what the master wants us to do. There's a slave here that's getting out of place. and Teach him a lesson. Beat him up. I'm saying to you, don't do that. Call your brother. Come and sit down with us. Tell us about this movie. I understand it, Brother Shaq, Keel, O'Neill. Put it up in his theater. Go see it. You don't want to read secret relationship with blacks and Jews that we uh, financed, we researched. Yes, sir. And you told me when we sat down. We had dinner together in the home of a Jewish rabbi. I went, uh, others went. I brought some of my people, and there were two rabbis. There was Irv Kupsinet, great reporter for the Chicago uh, Sun Times. And after we had a beautiful dinner together, we, we looked like we were going to be on a page together where the controversy could stop. But the rabbi said to me, this is this love fest. 
that is near the end of the dinner. But then he reached in his pocket and pulled out an envelope and said, but this is tough love. We want something from you. And they said, Minister, we have to watch you over a protracted time to make sure that you've changed. Then we had just put out the first volume of the secret relationship between blacks and Jews. And you all told me, we want you to renounce this book. Because it's a great calumny against the Jewish people. You said that to me. You said to me, Nobody that is deemed an enemy to the Jewish people is ever written of well in history. You know you control much of the publishing industry. So if you write the books, your people are heavily placed in the media. So when you all get ready to dog us out, you call those in that you pay. Then you told me that if I did all the things that you all asked me to do, you would clean up my image. You knew you dirtied it. But I'm not going to beg and bow to you to clean up my image. God is sufficient for me. And God is sufficient for Kyrie and Ye. And God is sufficient for everyone who has been made a millionaire, a multimillionaire, a billionaire. And then you call your man at Forbes and tell them, put it in the book, that there's a new billionaire black kid on the block. There's Miss Oprah, one of the most beautiful women you could ever have as a friend. But now she has something to lose if she's not careful. Careful means you have to guard your mouth. So you used to be able to open it. I'm going to do that again. You used to be able to open it. Now when they pull that chain, now you can't find your voice. You're afraid. When fear grips you because you think you're going to lose something that's dear to you so you don't want to venture out because you're afraid. I say this, dear beloved, resist the devil and he will flee from you. To resist means to withstand the action or the effect of. Because if you stand and fight with truth and unity, you'll never lose even what you got. They don't want to be shown up. They want to put fear into you. And they do have power to hurt us. And God has plenty of power to hurt them. 